punching time. Right in the crotch. <laughs> what a dick move. You get it? <laughs> uh, bad joke, bad joke. We'll do Mayhem Mode 2, and then that is giving us the buffs of 50% health, 75% uh, shield, 75% armor. So the enemies are going to have these buffs right here, so that's pretty... I think that's pretty decent. Yep, we're going to do Mayhem 2. Anyway though guys, uh, when I do the next series, which I don't know who I'm going to play as yet, I'm going to let YouTube members go and vote for who they want to see me play next. So if you guys want to vote for that, to make sure to become a member. But like I said, this game just was really, really amazing the first time I played it, so I just I could not record it. I tried to, it sounded like it just was crap. It was terrible. <laughs> the videos were so bad. I wasn't really talking, I was just kind of like gawking at the game, you know, because it was so good. Our main objective though right here is to, we're not going to do any side quests, we want to go and get to level 50 before we do any of those. So we're going to go and just do the main story quests until we reach level 50, then we can start doing some of the cool side quests. So the game has been out for a while now, uh, several days at the very least. What are your guys' thoughts on the game? Do you like it? Do you not like it? I'm personally loving it. I think it's great. And I think it's going to get even better as we start to get all the DLCs and stuff because that is the part that I love the most about uh, Borderlands 2 is just all the DLCs. So once we start getting those, that's going to be flipping awesome. Just extend the content uh, to even more so than what it is. It's going to be awesome. Okay, so even a Mayhem 2, these guys are not bad. <laughs> In fact, they're pretty easy. Let's see how much punching damage we're doing. A decent amount for Mayhem 2. I think if we were playing with no mayhem, I would pretty much be one punching these guys. So the thing with Amara is that yeah, she can do a ton of elemental damage. And if, in fact, actually, I forgot to mention this. What I am currently doing with one of my skills here, one of the first skills I got, is I'm applying which one is it? Yeah, so I'm converting a portion of damage dealt by Amara's weapons into her action skill element. And my action skill element over here, as you can see, is shock. So all of my weapons now deal some shock damage. And if I were to change my action skill element, they would change uh, to that as well. So it's pretty cool. Some of these Malamon guys, though, do resist uh, shock. Wait, he's resisting it now, so... Oh, it was his shield that wasn't resisting it before. Gotcha. I found that Amara is pretty tanky, to be honest. I mean, she does kind of heavily rely, at least how I have her spec'd out, heavily rely on dealing elemental damage and even some melee damage. Just getting up close, getting up personal, playing aggressive. That's how you play Amara. That's how I've been playing Amara. Let's see here, though. How's it going, buddy? <laughs> I have found that some enemies will just stand there not doing anything, so I'm sure that's a bug. Mr. Robit, how's it going? <laughs> What is this SMG I'm using, by the way? It's pretty, pretty beastly. It is the crossroad. Cool. Oh boy. Oh boy, almost dead. Oh boy. <laughs> Better use that ability real quick. Yep, yep, yep. Almost dead again. I'm using the Maggie right now, which is uh, back in Borderlands 3, obviously. It's a really cool gun. It's a bit more, less inaccurate than it was in uh, Borderlands 2, but that's fine. It's still really fun. Come here, buddy. Oh god, he's taking a... <laughs> he's taking quite a beat in there. Alright, we're switching back to the crossroad. Yep. Yep, crossroads OP. Ooh, what do we have here? I'm gonna take that just to sell it. Because <laughs> money now is so important due to the SDU upgrades. Try out some new stuff. A lot of these guns have been farming and they're like already way low level because I just haven't used them yet. Hmm, do I have anything on level? We have a jackhammer, which is pretty cool, but I don't want to use that. Well, we could try this, this rocket launcher out, or we could keep using the Jericho. <laughs> We're going to use the Jericho, actually. Let's go, Zero. You're really tall, Zero. <laughs> I think Amara is just kind of short, actually. See, melee Amara can be really, really OP when you're not running Mayhem, but the moment you turn Mayhem on, she's still good, but not, like, overpowered, you know? Because her melee normally is pretty overpowered. Maybe we can switch that off here in a little bit. Name of the game, though, for me has essentially been just get up close, get up personal, use elemental SMGs and other stuff like that, and punch stuff. <laughs> Let's try out the Jericho here. I kind of want to hate this gun, to be honest. It's really weird. It's kind of cool. Maybe I just got a bad one. It doesn't... Yeah, I don't know. It's weird. It's really weird. <laughs> As you guys can see, it shoots up in the air. So, kind of disappointing, to be honest. Another badass down. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully he doesn't kill me. Dang it, no legendaries yet. Jeez, look at all that damage. I'm like missing three-fourths of my shots. Oh crap, it's a flamethrower one. Alright. Might not want to use fire against him. 
Yeah, he is uh, quite the damage sponge. I would not want to go melee him. Well, you're not a face slam, you know. Let's see how much melee we're doing. A decent amount, actually. We really are doing a decent amount. If we can survive this. Ooh. Sweet. <laughs> Ooh, look at that, guys. We have an anointed uh, hot foot shield. After using phase slam, melee damage is increased by 200% for a short amount of time. Interesting. I think we might switch out, because what do we have right now? We just have a rerouter. Mmm. Mm, that's also pretty good. Anointed Siren on action skill end. 30% of all damage taken is returned to a, the attacker for a short a time. Interesting. I think we're going to keep it for a little bit longer. <gasps> well, I heard we got something. We at least got a purple in this chest behind me. Let's see. What did we get? What did we get? What did we... Oh, we got a legendary. <laughs> uh, ooh. Oh, no. I don't like the slide ones. I really don't. All right, we're gonna pass on that, so. And, okay, cool. Boss time. Oh, yes. See, the first time I fought this guy, I did get the legendary. Let's see if we can get it again with the uh, increased loot chance of, I think, 300% now with uh, Mayhem 2. Hey, buddy. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Holy crap. This is, uh, this is pretty easy. Even on Mayhem mode 2. Where'd you go, buddy? Oh, my punching ain't doing very much, though. <laughs> oh, wait. All right, we might just be able to punch him to death. <laughs> uh, I suppose we can shoot him, too. All right, that's way too easy of a boss fight. There we go. Done. Did we get it? We got it. Sweet. Let's see. No, wait, we didn't get it. We got, uh, no. No, I think this is the same relic I have. Let me see. Let me check this out real quick. Or not the relic, the uh, flippin' artifact, which is not the same, because mine's only an epic. So we got the, the bonus radiation damage, which is pretty cool. Then we also have deal 64% bonus elemental damage whenever you melee an enemy. Elemental... Whoa. That's cool. The power is yours, 23% weapon accuracy, 13% corrosive damage, 20% melee damage. Yeah, that's still worth it. My other one, though, has uh, regen's health, but that's fine. 45 health isn't very much. Oh, you know what I want to do for my second playthrough, like, on a separate character? I think probably do, like, an allegiance run of some sort. Like, maybe a Vladoff Moe's or something. I think that'd be cool. I'd have to look into things, obviously, just to make sure that I can get everything, like a shield, for example, and stuff. We'll see, though. After this character, of course. Ooh, I love that. In Borderlands 3, we can just... We don't have to go to fast travels. We can just go and travel from the map, which is pretty cool. To Athena's we go. Three planets down already, although they do kind of go by fast early on. See, this is a place that I've been to the least and haven't done very much experience exploring in so hopefully i don't know i don't want to do anything though or do any side quests until level 50 and melee 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 <laughs> gonna punch you gonna punch you again gonna punch you probably like five times maybe a little bit more <laughs> all right it'd be really great if you would die there we go thank you <laughs> oh oh wonderful uh we might be kind of boned here Wait, no, we're good. Hopefully. Don't duck behind that cover, buddy. <gasps> I don't know who to kill. Got him. <laughs> All right. Let's not do that again. That wasn't fun. These heavyweights, though, they have so much health. Amara, you have some crazy health regeneration, and I love that. <laughs> Only thing keeping me alive right now. Face slam. <laughs> uh, just face slam and punch. Face slam and punch. <laughs> what just happened there? <laughs> Thanks, Maya, for continuously phase-locking this guy. <laughs> Helps out. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, the only reason I'm running uh, Mayhem mode right now is just to get the bonus XP. Plus, the legendaries are nice if you can get them, so... Ooh, that's right, we can kill this guy. The Chupacabra. Or chupacabra <laughs> Easy kill, too. Jeez. Let's go. Let's get some uh, legendaries here. Yep, got them. Oh, another artifact. Oh, it's a slam one, though. Don't want that. Ooh. Cool. Don't know uh, what this does. Is that all? <laughs> Wait, what? Boop. Oh, I missed. Oh, no, I got him. What? What's it? Is it eat? Oh, it's eating his health? Whoa, that's kind of cool. It's like a leech or something. Ooh, we have a ranch nest here. Forgot about that guy. <laughs> Does he have uh, one of those Malawan teleporters on his back? 
Interesting. Let's punch him. <laughs> oh, oh crap. We're good. Yep, sweet. Almost level 45 as well. Ooh, ooh, is that a legendary I see? Is that two legendaries I see? I think it's just one. We have a Jacob's Iron Wi- Oh, really? Don't you get this from a uh, quest reward? I think you do from the main mission. So we have a Jacob's Sniper Rifle here, but we're using a Monro, so we now have an Elemental Sniper. If I can hit someone. <laughs> so yeah, we're doing shock damage to this guy, see it? Boop! <laughs> Oh, I want to go, and I want to give myself even more health. Sweet. I love how accurate guns are now. Just, you don't even have to sight in. You just <laughs> flipping, uh, <laughs> you just fire from the hip, and boop. 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 Ooh. Was that a world drop? I think it was. Double penetrating echo. Haven't had that yet. Yeah, we don't need that. <laughs> Nemesis anymore. Interesting. Interesting. Mm, I don't know. It's kind of interesting. Might be better <laughs> without Mayhem 2 on. Or in a different character as well, too. Not really the best on Amara, though. For sure. Alright, it's Tron time. <laughs> Let's see how quickly we can kill him. The bad thing about all these uh, Malawan guys is that they tend to resist a lot of elements. We're still doing alright. Let's see if we can uh, swap to something else. Nah. Not that, at least. <laughs> oh, God. We are not killing him very quick. It's kind of concerning, actually. Maybe if we go punch him. <laughs> Punching always solves things. That's some decent damage. I'm gonna die, though. I'm gonna die, though. I'm gonna die. Come on. He's shaping up to be kind of a difficult boss. Kind of annoying. <laughs> there we go. What do we get? What do we get? There, we got a legendary. We got two? Yep, we got two. Oh. <laughs> he just shot Ava. Oh, no. Not a fan of that. Oh, the gunner ring? Oh, This part always reminds me of the pre-sequel, just because you can jump higher. <laughs> That's kind of fun. Wait, can I slam now? I can. Cool. Yeah, so my uh, my guardian tokens are a little bit messed up too. <laughs> negative 13. I think when I started off this episode, they were like negative 17 or something like that. So a little bit messed up. As you can see, I have plus 12% melee damage, which is pretty useful here. Pretty soon, you guys are going to see the main problem with having a melee Amara build. She's normally pretty good. There's some instances, though, where you just really have a ton of trouble with her. Oh, it has a bayonet on it. Watch this. <laughs> Boop! Boop. Got it. Whoopsie. <laughs> Just punch him, I guess. That's right, because I do- I think I have lifesteal on here too, don't I? Where is that? Yeah, lifesteal. So I gain lifesteal whenever I deal elemental damage. Okay. And- oh, we got ourselves a, uh, a masher. Oh! Okay. Badass aggro tank, or tank here. <laughs> Should be interesting. Let's punch him. <laughs> Honestly, just punching. Always works. What do we have here? Jacob Sniper? Nah. Yeah, he uh, he has some health. For sure, has some health. Let's see if we can swap to our masher. Punching time. Right in the crotch. <laughs> what a dick move. You get it? <laughs> uh, bad joke, bad joke. I quite honestly think that punching is my best <laughs> attack right now. How do you unlock these, by the way? Do you guys know? It's gonna be another boss fight! <laughs> this is the first boss fight that I had trouble with, as you guys are gonna see here. Maybe not actually on TVHM, but mainly just because I had hardly any ammo when I first got here. Of course, now I have a lot more ammo, but when I first got here, I had hardly any ammo, and Amara had melee stuff, so... Couldn't really hit this upcoming boss. What is this music we're listening to? <laughs> <laughs> Fighting to some jazz music? Melee Amara, you have failed me. Or rather, I have failed you, I suppose. <sighs> At least we have that soothing jazz music. Let's see if we get any legendaries from this. Sweet, we got two! Cool! Alright, what do we have here? A COV Sabar. Wait, like from Borderlands 2. And then we have a Flacker. Oh! This is not what I'm thinking of. No, it is! <laughs> yep. Okay. This thing's a beast. 
All right, you guys, I'm going to call it for this episode here today. Pretty good episode and had a lot of fun here. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you are new. And I, of course, will talk to you guys next time.